Vying for attention with London's red buses, black cabs are one of the most famous symbols of the British capital. With around 20,000 in circulation, they're well loved for their spacious and comfortable interiors. But what really sets them apart is their drivers. Without the aid of a GPS, they know the city's labyrinthine street pattern better than anyone. A lot of the times you do it without thinking too much. There's not a lot of stress involved. You, you just think, OK, I've got to head this way and away we go. And how can I get the people there, the passenger there, as quick as possible? Um, your brain gets conditioned uh, uh, to work this way. Their impressive ability to orientate themselves in the city has spurred scientists to study London cab drivers' brains. Research shows that working as a black cab driver develops a particular part of the brain known as the hippocampus. We'd seen how the hippocampus appeared to be linked to spatial memory, to learning, through the description of place cells. The foundation of all this brain activity is known as the knowledge, the gruelling training London's taxi drivers have to undergo before gaining their licence. Tests are carried out at schools like this one. The atmosphere resembles a university library. The students, mostly men, undergo six hours of intense training per day. The aim is to memorise the names and locations of 25,000 streets, where London's 8 million plus population live and work. In London, the important roads are coloured yellow and orange. So the first thing they do really is learn all of these roads. Aspiring cabbies take an average of three years to complete their training. Almost 30% drop out. I've improved obviously with my knowledge, I can my way around London, but I don't know about like, my memory, I've sort of used memory techniques on the knowledge to try to learn things, but um, sometimes it can be a right headache, it can give you an headache when you overstudy and stuff like that. Those who do succeed can be proud at having an unusually developed spatial memory. Nonetheless, according to scientific studies, once their training is over, it gets harder for these masters of memory to learn new routes.